our divergent friends. Let's confuse the Normans, shall we? Unmask and disassociate with me. In three, two, one. This is a 45 year old man pretending. <laughs> Don't you have a wife? Don't you have some kids to be taken care of? Instead of talking to a whole bunch of TikTok girls who are way younger than you, you're like, yeah, let me join them. Let me join them in my fake disorder cloud chasing journey. Let's look at this shit. He goes from being perfectly fine to being all sad and lonely and like he's dissociating. They're confusing the normies. Three, look at him. Look at this boomer. Two, one. <laughs> And I also love the glitching effect. Yo, what's going on, my amigos and amigas? It's been a hot minute since I talked about fake disorder cringe. I think it's been, what, five months? And you might think some people might have looked at that or looked at other YouTubers who talked about that stuff and thought, you know what? I should probably stop. You might think that might have happened, but no, people just don't stop. No matter how many times you call them out, I'm doing one final effort to put a stop to these people. So with that said... Wait, who the fuck are you? Oh, me? Oh, I'm a tick disorder. I'm a new roommate. Get out! Oh, no, I'm never gonna leave. But I won't hang around here as much as you get older. Okay, fine. Just nobody else. Hey, bitch. Now what are you doing? I'm moving in too, and I brought a few friends if you don't mind. Hi. Hey. All of you need to go out right now? No can do. You're stuck with us. It seems like I came at a bad time. I only have one question for this girl right here, this woman. How is the relationship with your father like? Does he love you? Has he hugged you recently? I could tell you you've never had a dad in your life. How do I know this? Well, number one from experience. Number two, <laughs> because of how you're acting out here. Looking for validation from the internet. Looking for attention. Thinking this is quirky. Thinking this makes you stand out. Your personality trait being sick. I, normal person, well, as normal as someone who makes YouTube videos, uh, could be. I would never ever wish this to anyone. I would never wish anyone to have DID. I would never want anyone to suffer from this condition. Cause it's horrible. And I don't understand why girls and guys, for some reason, it's mostly girls, glorifying this type of behavior as if it's something cool to have. Those people who actually suffer from all of the other mental illness, they wish they didn't have it. And you're so fucking lucky and privileged and you don't have it. And you're like, you know what? I don't wish I have it. I'm a role play. It's extremely disrespectful. I would ask where your parents at, but let's just be honest. You don't have any. They hate you. What the fuck? I also brought a plus one. This is eating disorder. I'm also friends with CPTSD. What a small world. I crash here from time to time. Also, I broke a few things in the kitchen. Sorry about that. No one else is allowed in. Nope. Nope. Is this a bad time to tell you I've been hiding in the attic the whole time? Oh my god. Amigos and amigas, I want you to think of this, okay? I want you to think of this whole process, okay? Just think about it for a second. You have to write this down, then you have to act this out, get in makeup, change clothes, write the captions. During all of this lengthy process, this woman never looked back and said, you know what? I should probably scrap this. I should probably delete this. <laughs> I didn't know alters introduced themselves as if they're in a fucking movie. Hi guys, it's me. No, it's me. It's mental illness. It's me. Depression. It's me. Anorexia. It's me. Dyslexia. It's me. Retardation. It's me. Autism. Like, god damn. I didn't know this turned to a whole fucking Marvel movie. Like, Jesus Christ. Everyone's just fucking introducing themselves. I'm like, what the fuck? This audio alone drives drives me up the wall. Guaranteed OP was listing several other BS diagnoses they had. Someone replied with, for real, this audio making characters out of fucking illnesses. These emo faker kids better crunch on themselves 10 years from now. Very fun fact, having DID is not like having a happy family living in your head. You actually soggy diaper of a person. <laughs> I'm stealing this. You actual soggy diaper of a person. <laughs> That's a good one. I like this one. I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> the audio is absolutely disgusting. As someone currently diagnosed with an eating disorder, disorder, I can't fucking speak today. I don't know why. Trying to make having an ED sound so casual, fun, and giving it a funny personality, it's so insulting and horrific. It's not fun and it ruins your life. The ED voice is never funny or quirky. It's cruel, misleading, and makes you do horrific shit to your body. In, in all honesty, you can tell from 10 miles away, I'm looking at this person, that it's one of those emo TikTok kids. I don't even need to speak to you in order to know you fake mental illness on TikTok. I can just tell. I found another video and this one might be worse. This acting is horrific. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Ruin. 
to the park, to the jungle, to the dark. Girl, I never. <laughs> oh no way you have to be kidding me this acting is awful no 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 imagine she's recording this video at the fucking walmart parking lot and the guy who's looking at the girl fainting and he's like yo i gotta call 911 and she's like no it's cool i'm just recording a tiktok i'm just pretending to have a mental illness <laughs> please if you're gonna fake it at least be a decent actor what the fuck was this Oh my god, I can't. If I saw my daughter doing this shit, I would unplug the internet for live and I would send her to military school. With that said, let's just take a look at one more video that I found. And this is some guy taking care of his girlfriend. And she likes to be a baby or she's acting like a baby right now? We see a lot of comments like this on this page of people thinking that they know anything about me, about them, or about our relationship. We have been together for seven years. Yeah, she's doing the, the whole quirky baby thing. Me seven, me seven, I'm seven. Even though I'm 35 in reality, it might be a fetish, like the baby fetish, like, way, way, I want milk. Okay, suck my tit, that kind of shit, I think. Imagine the fetish is you're a baby and you're dating an adult and you're fucking it. Like, when you put it like that, it's like, you might be a pedophile, dude. <laughs> Not saying he is. I'm gonna play the pedophile role now. It's like, uh. They have DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder. It's a serious mental disorder. So the people who are making these kind of comments who think that they can come in here and know anything about us, stay in your own damn lanes, please. Then don't upload this type of shit. If you don't want people to clown on you, if you don't want to be criticized, if you don't want to be called out, then don't make these type of videos and upload them. You're like, well, mind your own fucking business. You're the one who's making a TikTok account dedicated to this. It's not the same as if you maybe you posted on that gram or something like that. That's completely different because you're just sharing your life with your fans. This is you and your girlfriend and trying to get big off this mental illness saying well if you don't like it don't comment on it it's none of your business then why upload it stay in your own damn lanes please mm. seriously these are all mine i've got like a whole transformers collection it doesn't cost anything to be a kind human being actually i hate being nice i like being a bad person how is people calling you out for faking it consider mean or hateful comments the only one who's trying to get big off this and your girlfriend is acting like a fucking baby it's you you're taking advantage of it and if this is indeed true and real are you taking advantage of your two-year-old girlfriend who can't speak and you're recording her without her consent because if she's two how can she speak is she okay with you filming this something to think about and now i will be answering some super thanks as i do at the end of every single video to get right on it keeks with the 10 us dollars thank you so much amiga i do appreciate it so you can buy more tacos since you crush your tacos out of anger of course i forget about this video and it did piss me off quite a bit <laughs> So, thank you. Appreciate it, Keeks. Thank you for the 10 and hope you're having a fantastic day at my Amiga. Cody the Aussie fan brony with the five Australian. I know you've been watching for a while. Thank you so much for still watching and for being a channel member and for the five Australian dollars. And you asked, what is your absolute favorite song from Green Day? I think I have over 150 songs on my Apple Music, but some that come to mind and I think what might be potentially my favorite Green Day song is 2000 Light Years Away. That's one that always comes to mind. Jesus of Suburb. Burbia is another one. Burnout is another one. Panic Song is yet another one. Christy Road. I mean, I could go on and off. American Idiot. Thank you for that great, great question. L with the two US dollars. Thank you so much. As lesbian, I unsubscribe and love when you clown on cringe lords and the LGBT community, LMAO, or any community for that matter. You're never outright homophobic, and a lot of people really do need to be clowned on. Some people can't take the criticism, so they just flat out outlight you as transphobic or homophobic or anything. But anyone who watches one of my videos know that I have no problem with anyone. So when a person tells me something like this, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm not fucking insane. <laughs> I'm just criticizing you no matter what you are because no one's special. But um, yeah, thank you so much for the $2. And, you know, everyone here is fucking awesome. So shout out to y'all. And I appreciate the love and I appreciate the support. Lover with two euros or pounds. I always get them 
confused. He says things and he says, don't know if you read this, but I love your videos and we need to smoke a blunt. I'm sorry, man. I'm going to have to decline. I do not smoke the weed. Nothing personal, but it's just not for me. I'm not a fan of it, <laughs> but thank you for the two pounds. I'll definitely put it into some tacos. Specs with the 10 US dollars. Thank you so fucking much. Hey, man, thanks for creating solid content. As a dude in my 30s, I am glad some of the younger generation has common sense. All of your videos are great. Just want to support your channel somehow. Que tenga un buen día, mi amigo. Oh, that's so fucking nice. Thank you so much, dude. I uh, thank you for the 10 and thank you for the great comment. You know, I really, really do take these comments too hard. Even the bad ones uh, that I get, which are rare, but uh, I take everything and I read the comments and I take feedback and I'm glad people are enjoying it. Got in stereo yet again. Thank you so much with the two US dollars here to go get fat. Of course, related to a Nick Avocado video. <laughs> Will do. I'll gain two pounds for that. And our last question of the day comes from jesus soria five us dollars thank you so much what's your favorite type of tacos de pollo birria asada so my favorite tacos besides taco bells are adobada and asada but i always go with adobada it, it, it's goaty and poblanos if you're from the south of mexico and mexico just has the best tacos and i've been to the u.s canada uh and nothing even comes close mexico is good for two things cheap food and great tacos <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the super chats and the super thanks and everything. I really do fucking appreciate the love and support. And if you want me to read yours, just send it. It could be $2, 10 50 whatever you're comfortable with, and I'll answer anything you want. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to head out. You guys are the goat. And bye. I'm going to go get fat. <laughs> I'm going to go buy a cheeseburger.